Sure. And something that Amazon just did, KDP just did this week, was to make HTML, HTML text formatting <clears throat> in KDP easier. So just this week, it used to be that when you were using text formatting for KDP, you had to actually have uh, HTML. You had to write it in there. We used um, a program that helped us do that. That was fantastic. But then KDP was like, hey, we can make this happen for you. So I'm going to go into this book, The 12 Dog Days of Christmas, which is awesome. It's a little short story from Paula Mune. Highly recommend. It's really short, but super cute. And on Kindle Unlimited. And so I'm going to edit ebook details. So let's say this is pretty much if you were going to edit your book um, content, not your content, your description. And KDP is going to crawl along. And as soon as it opens up, I will show you the fabulousness. All right. So you can see we've got all this here. Let's talk about something on the way there. You can also add to a series now. So I can add series details and I can create a series. Um, you can create it and then it asks, is this main content or is this related content? I can say it's main content. And then you have to enter series details and you can go to a series and you can set it up. Super duper awesome because, I'm totally getting sidetracked, but you guys will forgive me. I just know it. So what is so cool about that is that when you set up a series, all right, so when you set up a series, it shows it. There is a series page. So when you are running ads and things, you can lead people to your series page and it lists them in order. I don't know how many times I have Googled and tried to figure out which book comes first. This puts them in order and it puts it right here where people can easily buy it. So they can easily say, oh, this is the next one that I need. It tells you how many are in the series. It gives you an overview of the series and you can buy with one click and buy all of the eBooks at one time, which is fantastic. So it's a really cool thing to have. And as you're on each book, it also has it right here. It shows the series as well. So if someone's browsing your book, they can see this is a series, which again is super cool. So series button is now available in KDP and the text formatter here. So I'm going to go down here. This, we used to have to write HTML, you know, with like the carrot. So if we wanted something bold before, I would have had to do a carrot, a B, and then another carrot, and then saying um, best story ever. And then I would have to do the carrot and then the end and the B and the that. That's a lot of work. And there are programs that do that for you. And there was a website that um, we used and it was great, but it was still extra work. And KDP finally got up with the times and we're like, hey, we're gonna make it easy for you. So now I can say, this is the best book ever because, and then I can add in a bullet point. Uh, Paula Mune wrote it. There are puppies. It's Christmas. Again, can't type, but we're not gonna judge me. And then I can say, all right, well, I want this to be in bold. No problem. Um, I want to put in here Paula Mune, USA Today, best-selling author. And then I need USA Today to be in italics. Great. I'm going to stick it right in there and then it's saving it. So then you can have beautiful format because it's the difference of a book that looks like this, where we've got some bold text in here. We've got some interest. We, we make it lively compared to a book that just has nothing, a book that has, um, not nearly as much. Let me see if I can find one. So this one, it, this may be a great book, I've never read it, but it's not as calling out to me. It doesn't have a tagline that pops. It doesn't have any visual interest or white space. And that is the difference. And that is why this is so awesome. And then you just save it, of course. So brand new from KDP. 
um, just this week, which I love and adore. I think it's something everyone should take advantage of. If you don't have HTML on your book descriptions, I think that you should go do that pretty much immediately. Go play around with that, submit for um, some visual interest. Give us some white space. Give us a tagline that pops. Put it in bold. And I think that it's great that KDP has stepped up and has started doing that.